to make it exact same. I like to look look like myself in the game. <laughs> oh, that's a good shot. Let's go. Well, Doris, in these early games, it's always interesting to see which teams get off to a solid start. NBA, there always seems to be some surprises. You have those teams that come into the season heavily favored to get to an NBA championship, and maybe they hit some bumps in the road. Who knows? New personnel, new coach. But listen, how you start can surprise you, but it's how you finish that matters most. And the starting lineup for the Grizzlies. They've got Ja Morant. Jaron Jackson out there with MP. And it's Williams in at the three, the small forward. Now here's MP. Tipped out of bounds as Memphis keeps possession. Grizzlies ball. Jackson finds Morant. Now here's MP. He's closely guarded. Soft touch off the glass. Boy, tough sledding inside. MP fierce enough to get the job done. Outside Giddy. Back to Bridges. Gets the three ball to go. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. Pass to Nash. Here's MP. MP throws it down. Giving the people exactly what they want. MP with an attack on the rim. Up top, Giddy. Here's Holmgren to the paint. Uses the glass to finish the layup. He's got five. Wow, how about the start to this game? Taking excellent shots, capitalizing on everything the defense is giving him. This is great stuff. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, and in close games like this one, B.A., you need toughness. Guys who will run to the fight and get after it. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. An unusual skill set for his size. Holmgren can initiate offense from every level on the floor. I mean, his versatility is unbelievable. You expect seven-footers to operate off-ball, but Holmgren is just as good with the ball in his hands, Grant. Yes, he is, B.A. I mean, we've seen him go coast-to-coast coast in the open floor, take his defender off the dribble and get to the rim. And if you sag off him, well, he can just rise up and fire. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And you get the sense that guys on this team really like playing with MP. Just such a high IQ player. MP. And both free throws good for MP. The Oklahoma City Thunder, clearly an organization focused on the future, look no further than the median age of their roster. One of the youngest teams in the league. Now here's Bridges, coming in off 21 points in his last outing. Williams defending, clock at six, pulls up on the wing, Bridges misses. Right, so having a young team like the Thunder must have his advantages and disadvantages, huh, Doris? Unequivocally, the upside your guys have brings energy, potential, and obviously their lack of experience can hurt when you take on more veteran teams. But the key for this organization is player development. Can you build habits? Can you build culture? And can you build a winner? Three-pointer. And it's MP with a rebound. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Intercepted. Jackson against Bridges to the middle. Giddy passes to Bridges. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. 
the screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. We got to see that one again. That block was all out effort. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. With the explosive leaping ability, he's able to play center despite being undersized. Pass to Carney. Now here's Giddy. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by MP. Oh, got a piece of it. Jackson gets the bucket. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. Bridges down low. Hounded by Moran. To stop the drought. No good on the shot. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Fresh off a win against the Warriors. And in that game, it wasn't just the starters who played a big part. They got a ton of points off the bench. When you get that kind of a complete effort, that's a game you're going to win far more often than not. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. And there's the lob. And out of bounds. The Grizzlies will take it. Memphis leading. MP left side. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's great work inside from MP Boy. Like whenever he forces the defense's hand like that. Mobley, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. And both free throws good for MP. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. And the Thunder call time here. They're getting their first look of the season at the Grizzlies in this one. Last year, this team got the better of them in the season series. So they're looking to correct that. Grizzlies on D. It's a five-point game. Pass to Giddy. Williams defending. To end the run. No good. Off the front rim. Well, you simply have to shake that one off, right? You can't let that kind of missed opportunity bother you. Outside Morant. Back to MP. And MP throws it down. Well, MP just has this innate ability to put the ball in the hoop. And we're seeing that firsthand in this one. Now here's Bridges. But no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And it's Ja Morant with the foul. That's his first foul. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Drummond's checked in. Substitution on the court. Pass to Farrell. Pulls it. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Outstanding pass on time and on target. For Memphis, they've gone five of eight. Solid opening quarter for them. On the wing, MP. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. Oklahoma City has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Bridges outside. Pass to Farrell. Bridges outside. And he drives in. Just five to shoot. From deep. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Garrett, he's checked in for Bridges. And here's Memphis. They're on a 14-6 run. Morant, the pass to Drummond. Pass to Moore. Shot clock at six. 
Here's Moran. That went off the back iron and out. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Here's Garrett. Here's Mayo. Hits the trifecta. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. For Memphis, they've got six of ten attempts to fall. Tipped away. Down low. Here's Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Here's Moran following the bucket by the Thunder. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. We've watched Moran get so good at this. Instinctively spots the opening and feeds a really good shooter. Pass to Farrell. Takes it inside. Off the left rim and out. For Memphis, they've got 7 of 11 shots to find the mark. Morant, pass to MP. Here's Drummond. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Boy, one thing you can say about Andre Drummond, he is so steady. Statistically, it's the same story every year. Andre Drummond. And a moment to check. And it's the Thunder with the ball. Trailing by eight. Pass to Bridges. And here's Giddy. Defended by Jackson. Three pointer Bridges. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. They've got Josh Giddy, and it's Holmgren in at the center position. That's the lineup for Oklahoma City. Here's MP. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Oklahoma City has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Bridges passes to Giddy. Here's Farrell. Williams defending. Farrell's shot is off. The Grizzlies have got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Now, generally good things happen for this basketball team when MP puts his head down and decides to attack the basket. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Pass to Holmgren. He takes it in. Ooh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. Apparently, he didn't appreciate giving up points. I mean, just throws it down right in the man's face. Now here's MP, tightly guarded. Over the last few years, we've seen the rise of the skilled big. Doris, how's that changed the way basketball is played? I think, B.A., certainly it has made for a more wide-open game. The advent of that stretch four, stretch five, it creates better spacing because you've got to deal with their shooting. To me, it's a much better product for the fans. You have to admire MP's obvious love for the game. This guy just wants to get out there and play hard and his attitude helps inspire others as well. The Thunder have gotten only one of four shots to go in. Giddy passes to Bridges. Outside Giddy. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Boy, very hard not to be impressed with the young Australian, Josh Giddy. This is a, a young guard who can do absolutely everything. And Doris, the versatility of Giddy is really special. B.A., think about it. He set the record in his rookie season for the youngest player ever to record a triple-double. There's no question this guy is special, and I can't wait to watch his progress. And that one's good. MP's got 22. 
Well, this guy has been efficient and effective all night. That IQ has been on display. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, guys, the NBA markets itself behind its star players, but Commissioner Adam Silver understands what makes the game tick. He said, quote, this is a team sport. In order to truly win championships and compete at the highest level, all the players have to come together. So true, Allie. Thank you. The Thunder with another miss. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Second team foul. The Grizzlies have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Pass to Williams. Inside. And MP throws it down. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Here's Farrell. Bridges outside. Here's Holmgren, covered by MP. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Jaron Jackson picks one up. Well, that was clearly a foul. Grant, it's amazing how Holmgren transforms your defense when he's on the floor. Yeah, B.A., I mean, he really makes up for a lack of strength with length and tremendous timing. He has the lateral footwork to defend one through five as well. And of course, he can block shots from any spot on the floor. MP, no good. Oklahoma City has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Launches it. And it's Holmgren missing. Well, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Drills it from deep. As a big, unless you're a dedicated rim runner, have to be some kind of threat from distance. Pass to Moore. MP with it. It falls, and now he's 10 of 15 shooting. Nice work. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Bridges outside. Outside Giddy. Now Bridges. Six on the shot clock. Puts one up from 19. And he can't bank that one in. He's so frustrated. Hasn't had a make all game. It's making it very difficult for them to find any success. The best way to get a clean look is with those quick hitters on the break. What a beautiful fast break opportunity. And the finish pretty good. Pass to Farrell. Back to Bridges. Giddy with it. Here's Holmgren. The Grizzlies pull it in. Jackson's got four rebounds in the game. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Here's Farrell. Williams defending. Pass to Bridges. Here's Farrell. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. The Grizzlies have gotten over 50% of their shots to go. Five for nine in the second. Williams passes to MP. And the defense knows they got to cover MP very close. But he gets physical and exploits the coverage there for a foul. First one falls for him. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. So both teams making some changes here. Oklahoma City has gone just one of six from the perimeter here in the second. Here's Giddy. The shot, no good. Oh, great D that time from MP. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Holmgren's got his fourth rebound in this one. Off target from three-point range. Well, Memphis shooting 54% from the field so far in this one. Throws it up high. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Great communication there sets up MP for the jam. He's right on cue to catch the pass. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. And the Thunder call time here. They defeated Utah in their last game. And we all know that on the road, you don't usually look so comfortable on the offensive end. But that was the story of the game. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies ending the period up.
And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Hey, you look at MP in this game, he's been everywhere. And just halfway through this contest, he's already registered a double-double. That takes a level of aggression and a level of focus, and he has brought it all night thus far. On the court for the Grizzlies. They've got MP. He's out there with Jackson. And it's Morant in at the point. Moran against Bridges. Back to Giddy. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Giddy's got five points. That's outstanding footwork by Josh Giddy. Finishing the painted area. I can do that too. Pass to Nash. And here is Williams. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. MP no good. And Oklahoma City shooting 32% for this game. Not what they're hoping for. Here's Holmgren. Outside Giddy. Here's Holmgren. Defended by Jackson. Six to shoot. Pass to Carney. Fires the three. Drains the triple. Five points in the game. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Now here's MP. And the layup is good. MP's got 34. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. Pass to Carney. It's Bridges on the wing. Now Giddy. Covered by MP. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. The attention to detail on defense. Jackson reads shooters well and knows when to go for blocks. Out of bounds with the Oklahoma City's ball. And we have to take another look at that block. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Here's Holmgren, defended by Jackson, to the inside. They double him with MP. They get it back, tries again. Ooh, lots of contact. And coach doesn't like the call at all. He's opting to use his challenge. He wants the officials to look at the replay. People were worried that this would slow the action down. But with so many close calls in every game, the NBA was smart to adopt this challenge policy in 2019. You know, one thing this does for a coach is let his players know he's got their back. If they're adamant that the call was wrong, he'll back them up and make the refs take another look. So they see clear evidence of a bad call, and they're going to overturn it. Probably the right decision. And give credit to the officials for recognizing the mistake and correcting it. Nobody likes to say they got it wrong, but they fixed it in a hurry. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Warriors was tremendous. He picked up 41 points and managed to snag 20 rebounds. A tremendous night for him. He put up significant numbers. So the question becomes, can he do it again? Thanks, Ali. Absolutely. He was a one-man show in that one, Grant. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same mentality tonight. One of the things I like about this guy, he's able to up the intensity whenever needed, and players really feed off his energy. The Thunder making a switch here. Farrell's checked in. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Williams. Remains Oklahoma City ball. No, no, no. 
Williams defending. And he lobs it up top. And that'll be Oklahoma City's ball as it goes out of bounds. Thunder able to keep possession. A great read to get a hand in there and disrupt the play. And offensively, a little bit of a careless toss. You could have used a better angle on that pass. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Shot clock at three from deep Giddy. Doesn't go that time. Now Memphis takes it the other way. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. For Memphis, they've gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Outside, Williams. Back to Morant. Stolen by Giddy. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Good offense beats good defense? Not always. Now here's MP. He's covered closely. That one falls. MP. MP's got six here in the quarter. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Here's Farrell. Pass to Holmgren. The Thunder with another miss. The Grizzlies have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Now here's MP. Defense right on him. MP. And they're really rolling right now. That lead keeps getting bigger and bigger. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. Now here's Giddy. He's got five. Tries to snap the cold streak. Jabarev grabs a miss. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. And MP with a basket MP. on the assist by Morant. Morant's got his sixth assist of the night. Oklahoma City has gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. MP really making a difference here. He's just really a one-man wrecking crew down low. And with this timeout, they've got to make some adjustments because he's been steady inside. Memphis on D. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the Grizzlies. I've been impressed with how assertive they've been offensively, getting the ball into the low post and powering through the defense. The other thing that's been impressive is really just relentless driving the basketball. Doesn't matter if the defense is there. They are challenging them and getting it done. Here's Williams. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. First two fouls. Man, the defender really went after him. Shooting for Memphis. Zaire Williams taking two shots. That one's off. He's off on the second, and Doris Commissioner Silver has expressed a desire to ensure star players participate in a full complement of games. What's the answer here? I think, B.A., a couple things come to mind. There's been a long discussion about whether you can shorten the regular season. That obviously impacts revenue generated, so I'm not sure you'd go there. The league could also structure contracts to incentivize games played. And here are the Grizzlies. They're on a 10-2 run here. And MP throws it down. Everything is dropping for them. Just a terrific third period run. And I think it's been all about their offensive efficiency, shooting the lights out in this quarter. Here's Holmgren, covered by MP. Pass to Holmgren, five to shoot. Launches a three. The rebound by Jackson. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm, and you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. And he lobs it up. Oh, stolen by Moran. Oh, he picked him clean. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty.
adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Morant's gone just one for four from deep. To the middle. Here's Holmgren. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Holmgren's got six. It's not easy to work the ball inside in this league, but they've done it all night. To the paint. Now here's MP. The D's right on him. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. MP's got 46. And for the Thunder, they're shooting a less than average 27% in the third quarter. Pass to Farrell. Let's the three fly. They get it back. And he throws it down with one hand. And it's so hard to stop the putback when you let him live at the rim like that. Boy, once he gets his hands on it around the rim, it's too late. How about the activity level, the effort level? This team right now feeding off his energy. Here's MP. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Holmgren's got rebound number 11. Here's Giddy. Goes back up. And it's Holmgren missing. Right now trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter, boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. Here's MP, and he drops in the layup MP. off the glass. MP's got 16 points here in the second half. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. That'll drive your coach nuts. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. Now Morant, pass to Nash, inside. Now here's MP, tight defense on him. Can't get it to fall. The Thunder have gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. And he makes no mistake, slam dunk. Well, just finding the open man and making sure it's on time and on target. This is who Josh Giddy is. And for the Grizzlies, Jackson out there with MP. Then there's Ja Morant, and it's Williams in at the three slot. Oh, another one falls. <laughs> My goodness, 50 for the game. Just putting on a show. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten five of six shots to go in the fourth. And for Oklahoma City. Pulls up. And that one's long. The Grizzlies have gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Left side, Williams. Pass to Nash. Now MP. Good! That's another bucket! <laughs> That's 52 points for him. Making it all look too easy right now. Back to Bridges. And Doris, the league has taken a much more active role in player development in the U.S. and abroad. Why now? Well, I think, B.A., what's great is it's not just player development. It's growth in the game of basketball. It's interest worldwide. I think the league's resources have obviously grown, and it is trying to make investments back into the basketball game. A true minor league, international academies. It's a beautiful thing. If you love hoops, this is great. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Outside Giddy. Bridges outside. Back to Giddy. Pass to Holmgren. Right side Giddy. Six on the shot clock. And Holmgren with the basket on the assist from Giddy. Giddy's got three assists in the game. His first half performance, somewhat forgettable, but now he's pouring it on. He got a piece of it. Bridges with it. Pass to Holmgren from deep. Another score, his fifth make out of 10 tries. 
You know, I thought in the first half this guy was pressing. He was rushing. Now he's settled into the game. Now here's MP. Not a lot of room. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. His fifth personal foul. That free throw, no good. Well, Grant, I know you collect art, so we've been hearing all about these NFTs that teams and players are creating. I'm going to need a little instructional here. What's it all about? VA, no, first of all, memorabilia and collectibles have always been around. But yes, NFTs have taken it to a whole nother level. And yes, I do have an NFT. I don't fully understand it, so I can't explain it to you, but I know it's the next big thing, that's for sure. Here's White, and he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Derek White saying it's not just the big fellas who's got some hops. I can put it down. Yes, sir. Pass to Rogers. On the wing, MP. Out of bounds, the Thunder will take it. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Substitution on the court. Oklahoma City has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Bridges passes to Giddy. Bridges outside. Pulls it from 20. No good off the back of the rim. He just can't find a consistent way to score. And this team could certainly use it. Right there. Morant finds MP. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Holmgren's got his 16th rebound on the night. Pass to Giddy. Three-pointer, Bridges. And he can't get that one. Now Memphis takes it the other way. MP, the pass to Williams. Misses in close. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. Holmgren. The Grizzlies pull it in. MP's got his 20th rebound here tonight. Hey, we've heard a lot of coaches say, including Warriors coach Steve Kerr, about load management. If you want to see the Stars play more often, cut the schedule back. Maybe 72 games. Grant, your thoughts? You know, B.A., this is a problem and a concern, I think, for the league. You go back 20, 30 years ago, Stars played every night when available. Now you're not seeing that with the workload and the back-to-back -back and the concern with players and their safety and the amounts of money they make over their contracts. 72 games is a possibility, but I prefer to keep it at 82. Maybe I'm just a traditionalist. All right, we present our New Balance player of the game, MP. He has truly put on a show out there tonight, tearing it up on both ends of the floor. So impressive. And the other squad has looked helpless to stop him. Wow, did this game really turn out to be his show? A commanding performance like that makes for a sweet victory, especially on the road. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. And the foul called on MP. That's his first foul. Second team foul. The Thunder have gotten 8 of 14 shots to drop so far here in the fourth quarter. And that one's good. Giddy. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Yeah, they have a long way to go, but attacking the rim like that is a great way to start a comeback. In the first half, he was getting himself to the line quite a bit. Since then, he's been a little less aggressive. With the depth they have at that spot, they're more equipped than most teams to handle that kind of loss. Oklahoma City's gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Moran against Bridges. Outside Giddy. There's the three. The rebound by Jackson. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Pass to Nash. And here's MP. Another one goes. Incredible. And he's been dominant so far in this one. Shouldering the offense. Really taking it to the opposition. 
Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Bridges outside. Defended by Jackson. The rebound by Jackson. Memphis has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Morant finds MP. On the wing, MP. Well, Doris, courtside seats in basketball are hard to come by. Experiencing that proximity to the action is a rare treat, but with virtual reality now, anyone can. Listen, BA, I'm all for technology, and I think that's cool. But let's be real. You give me a courtside seat where I can feel the action, where I can see all the minute details of everything that's transpiring in real time, I'll take that. It's <laughs> safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Grizzlies. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. And this will give them there. Elbow. Two. And so Memphis takes this one by a big margin. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this...